just seemed excessive and extreme and gluttonous almost to just keep buying more. Like there's bags sitting up there in that cupboard that I haven't even used. I haven't even had a chance to think about using and I'm buying more bags and it's not. It's New Year's Day and I'm out walking the dogs. We had a lovely New Year's Eve quiet and low key. Obviously we still had the two boys, Bestie and his partner came to stay with us, which was lovely for me because it meant this morning when I woke up on New Year's Day, I suppose for a new day, new year, all of that, I had both of my husbands with me, which was lovely. Uh, the boys were obviously there, so low key. We did have food, drinks, but knowing that we would wake up to parent in the morning. Hubby, actual hubby, then made everybody brunch, which was lovely. They have now gone home. I'm just out walking the dogs. And then I'm going to go home, get a shower, get ready. And my sister and her husband and children are coming over later this afternoon. I have these glasses on because it's a little bit sunny, but also because they're hiding my face, which is a major bonus right now. Even though we have walked this route about a million and ten, ten times that the dogs are still sniffing at every single thing they see. We do this nearly every day and they're still sniff sniff sniffing. I think it's kind of hitting me by the way, walking them. How am I going to do this with four dogs? I don't know. I think I am going to need the help of the dog walker and it might need to be something that I don't know how I would do it by myself with all four of them. If you've watched my what I got for Christmas video, you'll know what I'm talking about. And instead of me, to anybody that ever asks if I could be like an influencer or wanted to be, this is one of the many reasons why not. I am so opposite to that. But yeah, so we're going to get this walk done and then have the rest of New Year's Day. But it's good to get out and have a little bit of fresh air and just get out of the house. The boys are going out. Obviously their cousins are coming today and then tomorrow we have booked... Uh, one, the younger one's going swimming and the older one's going to soft play again just to get them out of the house over this period of time. The weather's not great, it's not like we're living down there with Dale and can take them to the beach or something which would be absolutely fabulous. So I'm pretty happy with where my life is and I have been for some time so I don't really set new year resolutions but I do set goals. I'm a great believer in goal setting. I think they motivate to keep you focused and it's something I've always done professionally and personally. So I have set goals for the new year. If you've been watching my channel, you'll know from September, I have worked like a crazy person far, far too much. It's unsustainable. I don't think I've ever felt so close to burnout in my career. I don't think I've ever so got to the point before where I've just thought I can't do this anymore. It's just too much. And I am determined to work less and take better care of myself. It really happened. It wasn't that it was ever planned. My my work is very, very busy. And yes, it, it probably was busier for a bit, but we were very short staffed unexpectedly. One of my staff members, mummies, passed away very suddenly. Another family member had a stroke and they had to care for them. And another one had to go off for another reason and then COVID was striking. So there was a lot of short staffed sessions that we just hadn't planned for and whenever you own a business it falls for you to pick up the flack. There's the puppies in the background. When I walk them on my own I do a double lead. It's just easier. When I have somebody with me they can have their own leads but when there's one of me and two of them, imagine four of me, four of them sorry. So I have definitely determined that I'm going to try and fix that and work less. I have three new staff members starting on the 2nd of January and I need another one and I'm hoping that helps get a bit more balance so I definitely want to work less balance more before that happened I actually wasn't too bad but I have felt very overwhelmed very burned out I have felt very sick very ill very run down for four months and that really can't continue so that is the first goal to address that now that I have the little black bag in my hand and intended to Second goal really comes from that when I am very busy and very stressed, I stress eat. And if you've watched me before, you'll know I've lost a lot of weight over the last couple of, uh, the last year or so. I've put a good bit back on just from stress eating, eating so much. And also because I was working 
so much and so many long hours eating rubbish, really, really rubbish. Like I cannot profess to have the healthiest of, the healthiest of diets. Um, I don't, <laughs> I'm not the best eater, but over the last few months I have ate so much junk that I, I even, as well as putting on weight, I feel crap, I feel bogged down with it. I feel lethargic. I just, it's been so unhealthy. So I want to get back to eating a bit better and get back to where I was, get the weight back off. And that's not really like a new year thing. It's really addressing what had changed over the last few months with just being so busy. That's definitely one. And again, coming in with that, I need to take better care of myself. I know that whenever work gets really busy as the boss, I have to pick up the flack, but I, I suppose it was stress mode, fight or flight mode. It had to be done over the last few months, but definitely can't have, can't be a long-term thing or I think I would, I would have claps and hit the ground. I want to continue to spend time with family and friends. I think that's something that I've got pretty good at since my mom had the stroke. We have definitely been, as a family, a lot more mindful. Um, <coughs> I definitely want to make sure that doesn't slack at all. Obviously, if two new puppies going to be taken care of. Shopping-wise, I'm pretty happy with how I shop. I know a lot of people probably think it's very excessive. But it's not a problem and it's all accounted for. So I don't think there'll be too much of a change on that. We do have a lot of trips to fit in this year. There's still trips from my 40th with friends that and with my husband that we couldn't do because of lockdown and COVID. So they need to get fit in somewhere. The year's crazy. We have so many trips and cut. I'm sorry if I'm looking down, it's just keeping an eye on the dogs. And you can see how out of breath I am from eating all the rubbish. Um, <laughs> we have a lot of concerts, a lot of trips away, short trips, planning bigger trips. We're definitely going to have to get the year planned out to see where they're all getting fit in. But definitely want to keep doing that about experiences, seeing new things. If lockdown, that does sound like a resolution, but it taught us all, didn't it? That life is short to make the most of every second. So I'm now going to go and finish with these two. Our walk, get back home, get charred, get ready and go again. This is our little friend that we come and visit on our walks and bring some carrots to. Isn't he the cutest thing? Home from the walk. And can you tell, they were both thinking, look at the colour of that water. Can you tell how much they hate their baths? They're about to get scrubbed and cleaned. Yes, my life is all Chanel, Louis Vuitton and glamour. <laughs> Obviously they weren't running through mud, so I'm now gonna scrub the bath, do the washing of the tiles, and anybody that has doggies, we use, oh, as I thought on the floor, we use the Groom Professional Shampoo, the tea tree, I need to order more, but it's good for their skin, just if anyone has any little doggies that have sensitive skin, and then we use this, which is just like a baby powder spray after their, I do the bath, it smells nice. Obviously they have their name and address and everything on the labels. And this is for me now to very glamorously clean the bath. I know how it feels to be someone you love and it gets me down. I let it slip so much. Mm -hmm. I let it slip so much. This is 27, start the music, kill the silence, let my mind rest, pour a drink cause it's a fact. Are we going to break all of these dogs? Why I left you, and no I don't like to be the bad guy. morning can you tell what the weather's like here from my get up it's horrible <laughs> um very tired this morning look very tired and for once i can't tell you it's because i was up late working <laughs> it's because 
hubby and I last night started the Louis Vuitton jigsaw and finished the Louis Vuitton jigsaw. We kept getting so far that we were, oh, we're close now. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. And <laughs> in the end, we were up far later than we intended to be to get it finished. So as I was telling you on my walk, I have been eating absolute rubbish since work went crazy in September and then over the holidays. So I've just pulled up outside the class where I get weighed. I will let you know in a few minutes, but I would say it's it could be close to a stone I'm going to have on, which is just horrendous. But then I'm just going to have to get back in gear and get it off. I'm hoping by stepping on the scales this morning, it actually wises me up and stops me eating so much rubbish. So let's go and face the music. Well, <laughs> pretty much as expected. I thought a stone, still got this cough. I thought a stone and I have 12 pounds on. Uh, for anybody, there are 2.2 pounds in a kilo. So nearly six kilo or, tw or 12 pounds, a lot. But I suppose on these little vlogs, now you'll get to come with me on the journey to try and get it back off. So frustrating when you've lost so much weight and then put it back on. But really with the way things were from, say, September and the way I was eating rubbish to survive and just and if it, everything went out the window, then I just didn't care anymore. I was eating whatever. I suppose it's not really surprising. But that's me, Wade. Time to get the head back in the game and get it off. Today's walk includes the tiny man. He's leading the way. The bigger one is at football with his daddy. So we have, I'm going to spin you around and show you the little tiny one marching along in all his cuteness. Walking the dogs. Where are we going, little one? Oh, is Louis trying to lead the way? He knows where to go on this route, doesn't he? Up we go. Good boy. Good boy waiting, Louis. Hello, Molly May. Hello. They're getting their haircuts this week, thankfully, because they're very hairy puppies. And off we go, marching on our way. Good morning. Uh, today is Monday, the 10th of January. I am on my way to Derry to say goodbye to one of my friends that I went to university with. Unfortunately, they passed away at the end of last week. And why am I talking to you guys about that on a channel that is light and fluffy? Well, I suppose because it's real life, isn't it? And isn't the point of vlogs to include a bit more of real life and what goes on in real day to day. And I suppose as well to show that it's not all rainbows and sparkles and it's not all chain lengths and bags of the day and caviar or lambskin. I really wish it was. I know that sometimes I will get comments and I know other YouTubers get comments because I've seen them and there can be a misconception that what is on YouTube and Instagram and social media is life and I suppose the risk of that is people going to social media can feel that it's all rosy and lovely and perfect and if you were comparing anyone's real life to that I would be a little bit worried about what that comparison would lead you to think but it's it's really just a snapshot it for me social media and youtube is an escape it's an escape from real life it's the things that i enjoy that i like talking about the pretty things the extras but it's in no way life it's in no way what's important in life and dear goodness there's no handbag going to make this day any easier like this is this person I went to university with, so they're my age. And I'm on my way to their funeral. It's just cruel. It's, I suppose it's real, but it's heartbreaking. And no backdrop or collection or new season makes that any easier. Good morning. Absolutely no plans to turn this camera on today. I have a very, very busy work day, but I just came out of my weight class. 
and this is the first week back. If you watched earlier, I went back last week after ooh, four months and I had put on 12 pounds and went back today, first week back and I have four pounds off this week. Oh, I'm so happy about that. I just, hopefully that will keep me motivated to keep going. Anybody who's ever lost weight before, it's a constant struggle. Um, yeah, so I'm so excited about that. I'm just hoping that keeps me motivated, keeps me going. Four pounds is a really good start. Don't get me wrong, still have a lot more to go, but it's a really good start. And I just wanted to jump on and share that news and say anybody else that's struggling after Christmas, keep going. Four pounds, it can be done. Remind me that next week whenever I'm maybe not quite so good, but like, at least it's a start. It's a start and I just need to keep that motivating me to keep going. Hello again. It's Friday night. We are very rock and roll around here. I am here making dinner with my youngest, who you can maybe hear in the background drawing on his chalkboard. And my oldest is at football with his daddy. So I have the youngest's dinner on. I'm fighting with myself because <laughs> today is Friday. Yesterday was when I had my first weigh-in after the first week of trying to be a bit better and I lost four pounds and I really want to stay on the losing weight mentality and not putting it back on. Um, and I watched Deal's vlog with her Peloton when I was just, oh, I'm, hmm, I should probably be doing some exercise as well, but I am trying to convince myself to make something semi-healthy. My husband and oldest on certain football nights when he has matches or whatever, they will go and get a Happy Meal for a treat on the way back and they're doing that tonight and I'm trying to convince myself that I don't want anything from McDonald's brought back. Because really, if I'm going to spend the calories, there's much better things to spend the calories on. Yes, baby? And so I'm going to make dinner. I saw the pups yesterday. I went to collect my own two from daycare on the way home from work. And the people they have daycare with are who have the puppies. So I saw the puppies yesterday and they're coming on so well. They're so cute. I can't wait to show you them. I did take some... Footage, yes, baby. Mama. Yes. Oh. 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 Num. Num nums. Yeah. Your dinner's on. Um, num num. And num num dinner's on. Yeah. Deuce. Yeah. Okay, num num and deuce. Yeah. Okay, baby. No, nom nom and this. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. No. Yes. No. Yes. Tata. Good boy. Tata. No. No, Mama. Okay, now that the small boy is attended to. Where did I get to? Yes, the puppies, they are so cute. I can't wait to show you them. They're getting, they're coming on so well. They're so big, the little boy is so big. My oldest, since I was told about them on Christmas day, my husband said to me, oh, we're gonna have to think of more names. And my oldest shouted out from the corner, Bradley and Ginger, just, just like that, Bradley and Ginger. And since we've been trying to say to him, oh no, you know, baby, we'll wait till the puppies come home and, We'll see when they're home what they look like or what name we think they suit or what name we think fits with them. And he is having none of it. He is so determined. I have no idea where that comes from. And he is set that these puppies are called Ginger and Bradley. And any time we've tried to talk to him about a different name, he's just having none of it. He's just, they're Ginger and Bradley. It's a done deal. What, what are you talking about, mum? So they hopefully will be home soon. They're so, so super cute. And yes, yeah, just oh, every time I leave them, I just want to bring them away. What else has been going on? I have been. <laughs> I am still trying to get some sort of order organization order into my dressing room. It's like an absolute bomb site, and there are a number of bags that I want to add that I am adding. But, you know, even I, even I have my limits and I was looking at what I bought in Paris and what I bought recently and what I'm adding now and I just was, no, it just can't, it's, it can't keep going like that and I'm not doing one in, one out, I'm not, I'm not 
downsizing. I am absolutely not curating. I buy what I love. I'm I'm not doing any of that. But at the same time, there has to be, there has to be a limit. And I just couldn't, whenever I looked at everything I had bought coming up to Christmas and in Paris, it just seemed excessive and extreme and gluttonous almost to just keep buying more. Like there's bags sitting up there in that cupboard that I haven't even used. I haven't even had a chance to think about using and I'm buying more bags and it's nuts. So, and I watched a really good video on this. Hannah, my friend from ha uh, Hello Catwalk City, put a video out on this really recently about her mindset. And Hannah is another person like myself who is pretty on top of personal finance and would have an interest in personal finance and she has some great videos on that but she was talking about she tracks her spending now I don't do that because it would be way too scary I don't do that I maybe should do that it might give me a bit of a and I used to say when I talked in videos about managing your money I always said to track your spending and if you're trying to stay on top of your money absolutely <coughs> excuse me absolutely tracking your spending is the thing to do with my luxury spending I tend not to do that because I don't think I want to look in the mirror and realize what I spend but Hannah had tracked hers and it had went up so much from 18 to 19, no, 19 to 20, I think, and then 20 to 21. And one of the years, the percentage had went up 88%, 88%. And I just thought her video really resonated with me. Now, Hannah is far better at curating and downsizing and being sensible than I will ever be. I, I'm far too impulsive for that. And But it really resonated. And I just thought, I can't just keep adding more and more and more. So I have been going through my collection. <sighs> and looking at what I could sell or let go of to make room for more things coming in because there has to be an end, it just can't keep going. So I have been, I think I have three definites, not definites, maybes. <laughs> I think I have three that are going to go out. <laughs> Because there's definitely three I want to come in. And I'm not doing one-to-one, -one, but I'm trying to be sensible about... If there's only so many days in the week and weeks in the month and months in the year. And I'm trying to be clinical about what I don't use and what I don't... I love them all, but what I don't get overly excited about anymore. And make some space and bring some funds in if there's going to be more things added. So I've been doing that. I've been looking at what's going to be going and what's going to be sold I think I think there's one that I'm <clears throat> there's one I'm really not sure about bestie messaged me when I sent it to him and his reply was are you mad are you kidding me what are you doing step away from the cupboard and I know but I <sighs> I can't just keep bringing in and not being semi-sensible I'll never be sensible but even semi-sensible because it's 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 a lot of money and if you're going to keep bringing more and more bags in for me anyway I don't want there are certain bags that I will buy knowing that I will use less and use not overly a lot and they will have a certain position or place but there's a there's a limit to those and I will know that going in what I don't like is when I buy a bag thinking it's a bag I'm going to use and it's going to be in rotation and I'm going to reach for and it's something I'm going to want to use regularly and then I don't use it I don't like that that seems wasteful because it's a bag that's that's like the, the already capucines I'm not going to use all the time I am going to use it but I'm not going to use it all the time I know that and I knew that going in other bags that I thought I would use more and reach for more if I'm not I need to start being sensible so I think you might see a bit of a change and I know I've had a lot of requests for an updated handbag collection video which I am going to do, but I would quite like to have my collection kind of settled to do that. And I would also like to, well, at one, I need the time to film it because that takes quite a long time because there's quite a few there. And work's really busy again now. It's not as crazy as it was pre-Christmas because we have more staff, but it is busy. It's very, very busy. And I go through the full day and I forget to drink and eat sometimes and don't get off my seat. And it's, it is busy, so I haven't had time to film that and but I will and I know I know it's been requested by quite a few of you I will do that and also <coughs> excuse me someone had quite sent me a comment or a message 
about what my goals were for the year. Wish list. I haven't even thought about wish list because I'm trying to convince myself to get some of those bags out to bring those other bags in. Um, goals is definitely to work less. I, I want to work less. And I don't mean that I will never be a skyver, but I want to not be working the hours I was working. I want more balance. I want to not be exhausted and sick all the time from working so much. And people sometimes ask me about managing running a business and what it's like to run a business and have children and do YouTube and still have a husband and all those things. And sometimes it's really, really tough. And anybody that tells you that it's not tough is probably the exception. Certainly there are going to be exceptions of people who either are very gifted in something or very lucky or something works and they earn an awful lot of money and they don't have an awful lot of pressure or an awful lot of work. But I think that probably is the exception. And certainly running a business and owning a company and managing it all, it's tough. It really is tough and burnout's a thing. And I would say coming up to Christmas, I was very close to burnout, complete burnout to the point that I thought I don't want to do this anymore because I just, I don't know if I can cope doing it anymore. It's just so much pressure and stress and work. And I think Owning a business can be fabulous and it can have its rewards and being self-employed can have its rewards. But if you're thinking about it, just go in with your eyes open because if the chips are down and things need done and if there's no one else to do them, it rests with you because it's your business and it's your name and it's your company and it's your liability and it's your insurance if you have it. And you just have to be, you have to fill the gap and it, it can be very, very tough. But that being said, things are getting better. We have more staff. We need more, but we do have more staff. It's getting better and I'm not quite as destroyed as I was before Christmas. And that was just really a check-in with you to bring you up the speed on the pups, on the bags, on bags that might be leaving, bags that might be coming. I had a little cameo from the small boy. And I'm going to now go and make my dinner. I think I've convinced myself while I'm talking to you with my four pounds off, <laughs> get me, that I'm not ordering my husband to bring home McDonald's and I'm going to make something healthy. So that being said, have a fabulous night. It's Friday night here, probably goodness knows when if you ever see this. But have a fabulous time and I'll be back to chat to you soon.